Maybe you've heard of the Gary V content model or you're just looking for ways to repurpose your video content. You're in the right place. I'm gonna give you three tips to get you started and if you hang around, I'm actually gonna show you how I perform a repurpose edit in Premiere Pro as simply as possible so that you can get more out of your efforts and you can maximize the potential of your video content and you'll also be able to share your video content on more than one platform. Look, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort to do this work and if you wanna get more out of your efforts, then I've got you covered, let's dig right in. What's up entrepreneurs, if you're new here, I'm Matt and this channel is all about demystifying and simplifying video creation so that you can grow your brand, grow your business and create a bigger impact through video. So your first tip is to plan repurposable videos. What do I mean by that? Think about this, if you put in a few tips in your video, maybe you're making a YouTube video and you can just include a few tips as a bonus, it doesn't even have to be a tip video, then you can actually create repurpose content out of that very easily. Now you need to deliver your tip in about 60 seconds or less, which means depending on your pacing, you've got about 140 words for a quick script. Now you wanna make sure that you actually are able to deliver that in 60 seconds or less to get the most leverage out of your content so that you can actually fit it onto the feed on Instagram. And the second tip is to record all your videos in landscape because that just makes it simple. I'm gonna show you how to repurpose your edit, how to reframe your video so that it fits on any social media platform. Your third tip is to actually work on your YouTube video first. Work on your long form video content first and foremost and then once you've gone through, you can actually save that sequence, you can export that out, and you can make a new sequence. I'm about to show you how to pull this off, but think of it this way. If you complete your main video, then it's very simple to just take all the work you just did, all the edits that you've already done, and then just turn it into a new reframe to reframe the sequence. So let's not get too technical. I'm gonna show you how to reframe your sequences for different social media platforms. Before we head to the computer, if you're getting any value out of this, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and keep in mind, like we're only scratching the surface here of what's possible when it comes to repurposing content. So I'd love for you to open up the comment section and let me know what questions you have because I love making videos, especially when it's something that someone has asked for. That's something that's actually really rewarding and I really appreciate your questions, your comments and your feedback and the community that's building here. So let me know what's going on, share with me what kind of videos you're making and what questions you have about repurposing your content. All right, so we've got our files on the computer. They're in a folder, they're nice and organized. You've started your project in Premiere Pro and you've completed your edit for your primary video, your YouTube piece of content. So now that the edit's done, I'm just gonna go down to the timeline and I'm gonna click and drag across the whole project, including all the files. If you have stuff that you don't want to be in your micro content, your repurposed videos, then feel free to not select them here. So basically what I'm going to do is select all the clips that I might want to turn into micro content. So I'll drag this box over them and then I'm gonna right click and then go to make subsequence. I'll close this panel, go back to the project panel and then double click the subsequence I just created. This opens up another tab and now you've got a non-destructive environment to work with. What does that mean? It means you can now do anything you want to the second sequence here without having any impact on the first one. So you don't have to worry about cutting this and doing all the stuff to it because it's not gonna make any difference to your original sequence. Now I'm gonna go down to this timeline here and I'm just gonna work in 60 second chunks and because I planned some tips into this, I can find those spots pretty easily. So you can see here, I'm gonna mark it with an eye and then note 
at the bottom left corner here, the timestamp, it says three minutes and six seconds. So I know that if I want to have a 60 second clip for a place like Instagram feed, then I can't go over the four minute and six second mark. So I'm going to drag the playhead here all the way up to that four minute mark. And then I'm going to hit O to mark the out point. And then I'll just go in and I'll review this piece of content to make sure that what's being said actually works. And if you planned ahead, like we talked about earlier, you'll be able to find those 60 second segments very easily. And if you're actually practicing your delivery and your messaging so that you can get them out in 60 seconds, then this is going to get so much easier for you, I promise. So just practice this. So here's the next thing that you do. Make your cuts at the start and end point of that 60 second segment, and then turn that into a subsequence. Right click on it, go to make subsequence. I'll close this. And then I'll give it a name so that it actually makes sense. Tip number one, or something like that. Okay, and then go through and find as many as you possibly can out of the video and repeat this until you don't really have anything else to work with. The next thing that you'll be able to do is take all of these subsequences that you made and export them all at the same time. So it's just super fast. Now I know you might be thinking, okay, what if I don't want landscape video? Good question. Here's what you can do. Oh, you're going to right click on this file and then go to auto reframe sequence. Vertical, four to five, nine by 16, whatever you wanna use, you can do custom as well. And then click on create. Premiere Pro automatically analyzes the frames in the video. You can see at the bottom right corner it says analyzing for auto reframe. So it's actually gonna adjust and make changes to what's in the frame so that it actually fits. So if it's a talking head video, you'll find that you're actually in the middle of the frame most of the time. So pretty cool feature and it just speeds everything up for you. So this is how you can do some repurpose edits. If I missed anything, you have any other questions about doing repurposing editing or content strategy, let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to go further into simplified Premiere Pro video editing tutorials, check out this playlist of videos I have for you up here. And if you'd like any other videos from this channel, then check out these videos down here. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you creating a big impact with your videos. Shh.